October the 29th, 2021. Guys, a quick update on this incoming CME tomorrow. This thing left the speed, uh, the sun at over 1,200 kilometers per second. That's extremely fast. That's over 2 million miles per hour. Look at these charts. They're new. The proton density is at the top. The uh, solar wind speed is in the bottom graph. If it's green, it's talking about Earth. The stereo A and B are blue and red lines. Right here, bam, straight brick wall of over 60 uh, centimeters cubed of plasma density. Notice the time has moved up by two hours. That means about 10 a.m. tomorrow is the estimated arrival time. So we will definitely still be very Earth-facing in the U.S. Also, the radial velocity, guys, over 800 kilometers per second. Again, another brick wall there. The density hitting at that speed. Guys, 800 kilometers per second is 1.8 million miles an hour. Think about that. Very hard impacts. We've got uh, the strongest geomagnetic storm warnings that they, that they have out there, a G3. And... That's supposed to last for a couple of days. If you'll notice in the bottom left of this, how wide that cloud is. So you've got a G3 uh, geomagnetic storm warning, and you have an S1 radiation storm warning. It says it's going to sweep past Earth on Saturday, and it could be a responsible for Impressa or Aurora displays throughout the weekend. And CME... Um, alert a type 2 radiation uh, emission alert radiation storm alert minor s1 radiation storm but this g3 magnetic storm is going to have an impact on the planet uh, look for strong quakes at that time as that energy transfers via the lines of force of our magnetic shields through the core of our planet watch for a burst of volcanic activity Again, here's your warnings, the CME update, to the, you've got the G3 uh, magnetic storm, the radiation storm S1, there's been a proton event, there's alert on type 2 radio emissions, so it's going to be a powerful event. Someone asked, would it be a Carrington event, and I don't think so, um, it was strong like X3s or X4s possibly during the Carrington event, uh, but it did wipe out what grid we had in the U.S. in a lot of areas. The At that time, when the Carrington event hit, we were using telegraphs, and telegraph operators were electrocuted. Lines burned on the poles. But we have a lot more grounding, a lot more underground um, systems now than we had then. Of course, we didn't have the electrical grid that we do. And if something like that were to hit our planet now, say a Carrington event, it would uh, set us back about 100 years in uh, trying to rebuild the grid that has taken that long to build. Guys, uh, we hope that doesn't happen, but this is a very powerful storm. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.